And let's see here. Oh, wow. Oh man, look at that school right there, guys. That is what I've been looking for. Welcome back to another Minnesota ice fishing video. We're set up today in a bay. We're gonna be hole hopping the whole entire night. It's 10.30 right now. We got all night to fish. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of night bite crappie fishing today with crappie minnows and a spoon. Should be a good video. I have really high hopes for this spot. I've caught some 12 to 14 inch crappie here and the schools of crappie are insane. There are so many schools of hundreds of crappie all waiting to eat, especially at night because the pressure is so low. There's not that many people out here. You can get onto a ton of fish. It's just a super small bay. It's got a lot of weed lines. It's got some basins that these crappie are hiding in, and it has got a lot of drop offs that hold a lot of nice crappie. It's gonna be a fun video. We're gonna catch a lot of fish. As always, stay tuned for some tips and tricks throughout the video. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. We're just gonna be hole hopping all night tonight, going from hole to hole using Garmin Live Scope to find fish. Should be a fun video. I got high hopes for tonight. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get fishing. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check down view just to see if I magically happen to get on any fish without even trying here. Give it some time to swish it down. Oh yeah, we're on fish. Let's grab some bait. Let's get dropped down here. All right, so we're already on fish. I'm gonna drop down here, see if we can catch one really quickly, and then use my forward view to find some bigger schools, because we just got a few fish here. So I'm looking for some bigger schools. Let's get dropped down. See if any of these guys wanna eat. See if we get one right off the bat, and then we're gonna work this whole bay. Yeah, we definitely got a few fish here. Let's see if this guy wants to eat. He's coming into it, here he comes, here he comes, he's on it, he's on it, decent looking mark too. He's on it, he's gonna smack it. Give it a little twitch, I'm gonna let my bait dead stick. Here he comes, he's right on it, he's right on it. Fish on, right away, fish on. <sighs> little crappie, nothing massive, but starting out the day here. Been here for a, not even a minute and we are starting out strong. Beautiful, beautiful fish here. I mean, these things are gorgeous and they're tasty which is awesome. We're gonna get this guy right back in the water though and hopefully catch something bigger. There's so many schools of fish here. I'm gonna start here, drop down once more, see if anything wants to bite. If not, we are gonna just work this whole entire area. I'm gonna drop down forward view and I am just gonna find different schools of fish and we're gonna catch them until we find that big school. There's usually about 10 to 15 schools of smaller crappie and then there's a school of some really, really big fish. Along with that, we could definitely get into some walleye and other species tonight. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and we're gonna keep going. All right, there you go, buddy. As you guys can see, we have still got a lot of fish down here. All right, let's put on a new minnow here and drop right back down. All right, here we go. Let's get her right back down to the bottom. I'm looking for those bigger marks. A lot of these are the exact same size mark. I'm trying to see something bigger here. I mean, there's definitely fish. That's a good sign. I mean, we got fish here. Can't really ask for too much more other than maybe some bigger guys. They are aggressive though. They're definitely coming up to eat. Very curious fish. Let's see here. I'm gonna jig it a little bit, see if one of these guys gets a little bit more aggressive and takes a smack at it. Give it a few minutes and we're just gonna move right back down. All right, they are curious but not interested, which is no problem because I'm out here to move around. Everyone is set up in their tents right now. I'm out here to move around and find fish. So we're gonna drop it to forward view. We're gonna see where the closest school of fish are and we're gonna drop right on top of them. Drop it down here to forward view, give it a few seconds. Bigger fish suspended up there, I like to see that. Let's see if we can find another school to sit on top of. All right, so that is a big fish there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, definitely got some schools. Any bigger schools? No, not really. All right, that is a nice school of fish. Straight that direction, about 50 feet. Let's go sit right on top of that school and catch them. All right, 50 feet should put us somewhere around this general direction. Definitely some suspended fish here. Let's get dropped down. Usually these higher suspended crappie are more aggressive and more keen to eat. So let's see if that is the case here. As you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There is a lot of people out here. A lot of people. Let's see. This school of fish seemed a little bit higher suspended. That's why I chose this one. So we're gonna see if they're, uh, they're curious about my nice bait I have down here and if they're gonna eat. I'm gonna be a little bit more subtle with it. See if these guys want to come up and give it a smack. 
what I think I gotta do is I gotta get away from this crowd. There's so many people right here. I gotta, I gotta make my way that direction where there's, there's less people. Here we go, here we go. We got a fish coming in from the left here. There we go, he's on it, he's on it. He's gonna smack it. He's right under me right now. Let's see if he comes up and eats. He is right under me. There's no reason this fish wouldn't come up and eat. He's on it, he's on it. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit, get this fish a little bit more aggressive, see if he'll chase. Here we go, here we go, he's on it. He's coming up, he's coming up. I'm gonna let my bait free roam here, move as it likes, see if he grabs it. Come on, he's right under me. He's coming up, he's coming up, there we go. Fish on. Came up, got him to eat. Doesn't feel too big, just another little guy. But I'll take it a little bit bigger than that last one was. We're getting these fish to eat, that's all that matters to me. I think I'm gonna move a little bit farther away. What's up, buddy? Is that any spelt? No, it's a different guy. Oh, it's my bad. <laughs> you guys catching or you guys fishing? Is it what? You guys fishing or catching? We're catching, we got like some okay sized crappie. Another one, guys. Not a monster, but they're fun to catch. I mean, I've been out here 10 minutes. We've gotten two so far, which is awesome. I'm gonna drop down forward view. I'm gonna see if I can kind of find any other schools around here. Otherwise, we're going about a quarter of a mile that way and do the same bay, just a different part of it where there's a lot less people. I like to get away from the people. That's why I have all this gear. So we're gonna get it done, get this guy back in the water, catch some more. There you go, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna put it in forward here. See if I can find any nearby schools of fish. I mean, yeah, we got fish everywhere. Oh, wow. Okay, that direction, there is a lot of schools of fish. Let's see, this way, no, not as much. I mean, this whole area here is like one big school of fish. What I think I'm gonna do, let's see here. I'm gonna go straight that direction and we're gonna hit that big school because it looks like there's maybe some nicer fish there that we can hook into. Let's go that way. I wanted to stop and try right before this school of fish here, just because I saw a little bit bigger marks and I want to see if uh, there's maybe some more aggressive fish right here that are a little bit bigger that I can catch. This guy on the bottom seems interested, I like that. Yeah, he's coming up, here we go, here we go. Not a super big mark, but he's an aggressive fish and I like that. So as you guys can see, that big school of fish is to our right here. There's a uh, yeah, there's a lot more fish to our right. We are gonna go work to those guys. I just wanted to try here real quick just to see what happens. That's a nice fish right there. Let's drop down here. Drop right down to these guys. Let's see if he wants to eat. Is he coming in? That's a good looking mark. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Smack it. Fish on. Got him. I'll pull this out just so I don't get it stuck here. Feels like a little bit bigger fish. Ah, not super big, but we got him to eat. That makes me happy. She looked a little bit bigger on the graph, but that's all right. Fish is a fish. I was hoping to find that little bit bigger school, but she was aggressive and I will take it. It's always fun to catch fish when they're willing to eat. Here she is, guys. I mean, she's an aggressive fish and sometimes that is all that matters. Nice little guy here. We're gonna get it right back in the water and we're gonna move down and see if we can find another school. There she goes. Yeah, definitely still some fish on the bottom. We are gonna move though. I wanna work my way a little bit shallower. I like to throw my auger in reverse so it gets rid of all the slush that was down here. Now I am slush free, or you can just pee in your hole. I do that too, it gets rid of it. It's basically the same thing, but sometimes it's hard to pee 10 times in a day to get rid of all your holes. So that's why I have a nice trusty auger. It is in forward now. And let's see here. Oh, wow. Oh man, look at that school right there, guys. That is what I've been looking for. Bigger fish, straight that way 30 feet let's go sit right on top of them and let's catch them guys let's do it
If there's one thing I've noticed, it's these fish like to school by size. You're gonna find those schools of small fish with maybe a few bigger ones in there. And then you're gonna find that school of big fish with maybe a few smaller ones in there. So what I'm primarily looking for today is that school of big fish. And I'm hoping by the end of the night, we got a lot of time to fish. I don't work till like seven tomorrow morning. So we are all good. It's only 12 or something. I don't, I don't even know, I don't need sleep. So I got enough energy drinks. We're gonna keep fishing guys. And I'm hoping tonight turns out really, really well. It's good fishing. Do I look good? Oh dude, I could, I could 100% be a vlogger. What is going on guys? Today we're gonna be reviewing McDonald's. All right, give it a few seconds here. It's gonna switch to forward view. We should be on top of a lot of fish and we are. Awesome. Let's drop down here. See if any of these guys wanna eat. Some of them look like a little bit bigger marks. Still not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some really, really big fish here, but I just gotta find them. Just gotta find those school of big fish. We're definitely on schools of crappie, that's for sure. Let's just find that really big one. These seem like reasonably bigger fish here, which is really good. It's kind of what I'm after. So, they're not all super small marks. Some of them are a little, a little nicer. It's nice to know that these fish are willing to eat any time of day. I mean, I fished here during the day, I fished here during the morning, and now I'm fishing here at night. It's my first time fishing here at night. And there's definitely a lot of active fish, which is awesome. Oh, this guy's aggressive. Here he comes. I'm gonna show you guys the power of the dead stick. I'm gonna jig him really quickly here, get him up a little bit, and I'm just gonna dead stick and watch what happens. I let it sit, I let the bait do all the work, and he's gonna smack it. It's like clockwork, guys. Oh, get in here, buddy. You managed to get yourself under my deucer. All right. You guys are just little guys. So many fish there, but they're all so little. I'm looking for that fish to come out of a group of small fish that is just a monster. That noticeable difference in a mark is what I'm looking for. And I haven't found it yet, but I think I'm gonna see it hopefully soon tonight. Here she is guys. As always, gonna show her off for just a second here. She's going right back in the water. Don't want them out of the water for too long. And there she goes. If we do get into some bigger ones, I am of course gonna keep them. I do like uh, cooking up a little fish tacos at night when I get home. But for now, I'm having so much fun catching these fish. I know so many people hate on crappie because you know they're small, they're not walleye. You know you walleye guys out there. I love catching walleye too, don't get me wrong. But getting into a big school of crappie that are aggressive, especially with live scope, is so much fun, let's be honest. I mean, coming out here, setting up, and seeing, look at how many fish are down there. Can't tell me this isn't fun. We're gonna keep going, guys. I mean, it's been, oh, we got out here at about 10, 15. What do we got here for time? It's been not even an hour and we've been slamming fish. And probably 20 minutes of that hour has been me getting the camera stuff ready, okay? So yeah, if you guys don't know, YouTubers, we spend a lot more time focusing on the camera than we do fishing. Over half the time's me talking to the camera. The other half's me actually catching fish. So we're gonna keep going. Throw it in forward view. See if we can maybe find some schools. Otherwise, I'm just gonna walk to some maybe shallower water. Try some different stuff here. You gotta switch up and figure out what these fish like, especially when you're fishing new lakes. I like to try different depths. I like to fish shallow, I like to fish deep. I like to fish in that middle area. I love to fish basins for crappie. I love to try to find weed edges. Right now, I'm just fishing some drop-offs. We're in uh, about 20 feet. It goes from right around there is 15 feet to about 25. So I'm gonna try deeper, maybe a little bit later tonight. Right now, I might go try shallow. I don't know yet, I'm just gonna kind of search around, try to see what, uh, what these guys want, but I like to switch depths, I like to switch baits, I like to switch colors. Most importantly, I like to switch sizes. A lot of people try to fish those really, really small baits when the fish are finicky. Me, I try to throw something a little bit bigger. I've caught so many more fish on bigger baits than I have when I'm just throwing small baits. Even with finicky fish, throwing out something a little bit bigger, sometimes those fish, even the littler ones, are gonna wanna eat something really, really big. For bait today, guys, we got the Acme Rattlemaster Spoon. It's a 1 8 ounce in the color Glow Bloody Bug. I got a link down below if you guys are curious. I got all my tackle fishing gear, ice camping gear, all the ice fishing essentials. I got a link down below if you guys are looking to get into ice fishing. I either tip it with some waxies or a Euro larvae, or I just throw on a straight crappie minnow, and it is killer for getting crappie. I use it on walleye too, but it is mainly my, my favorite crappie bait out there. It catches fish, gets the job done. We're gonna move on, guys, and we're gonna find some more fish. Oh, look at this guy. This is an aggressive fish coming up right now. Here he is, he's gonna smack it. That was an aggressive fish. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't eat right away. Swam right up off the bottom to attack it and didn't eat. 
I think he's gonna come back though. One of these two is gonna eat here. They both come. We're gonna get hit right now. He's gonna smack it. He's coming up. Decent looking mark too. Let's see it, buddy. He's on it, he's on it. Fish on. There we go. Not a Mondo, but she's not gonna be too small. They're all about the same size. Not the school of big ones I'm after, but nice fish nonetheless. Not the school of Mondos I'm after, but they're nice fish and I can't complain. Let me look at that guy. She is a beauty. A nice middle of the night, nighttime crappie bite. There's nothing wrong with that. Kiss for good luck. So as you guys can see, look at its head right there. You guys see how, uh, let's move it so you can see him here. You see how their eyes are super close together, looking up? That is why you like to jig your bait right above crappie. Because they're not looking down. I mean, it's hard for this fish to look down like this. I mean, if you guys can see right there, let's see if I can even show it. It's hard for this fish to look down because its eyes are up here. So you're trying to get crappie to look up and eat your bait. That's why they're always rising so quick up to eat. Their eyes are up here, they're not down there, they're not straight. They're looking straight upward at a tilted angle up there. So if you have your bait right above them or a little bit in front of their nose, right there is the perfect bait position. It's gonna smack that. It's perfectly right in front where you can see the best. You can see the best right there, you're gonna get the most bites. So don't have your bait a little bit under him, don't have your bait really far under him. Have it either a little bit above eye level or higher up and they're gonna come up and smack it. I don't wanna have this guy out of the water for too long. And there she goes. But yeah, that's my little two cents on how to get those guys to eat. If your bait is straight in front of them, they might not be able to see it as well if it's a little bit above. Even that little bit of difference, maybe six inches to a foot above them, will make a huge difference when you're trying to get them to eat. So we're gonna keep going guys. I'm gonna throw it into forward view and try to find some more schools of fish. There's nobody around us right now. Everybody, there's probably 30 tents right over there. I left the group of people and we're catching fish over here. I don't, I don't know if anybody's catching much over there. Seems like everyone's a little drunk. So they're having a good time. That's all that matters. We're gonna keep going guys. My calculations are correct, which they usually are. We should be right on top, if not pretty close to those fish. Let's drop down, see if any of these guys wanna eat. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem getting them to eat. I am gonna throw it in forward view again, just to double check that we're on the right spot, but it's kind of a pretty big area with the school, so they're not all gonna be right down here. But it looks like we got some, uh, some, some more decent fish here, which is kind of what I'm looking for. If it comes to it, I can always just sit on top of the school tonight. Bigger fish to my left there, set up this tent and sit back and relax, but once I find the right school, we can do that. Here we go, here we go, he's coming up to it. There we go, I love these aggressive fish. So much fun to catch. And there's no reason this fish is not gonna eat. He's aggressive enough to come up, I pulled him up another four feet, getting him riled up, that's what I wanna do. And once I get him riled up enough, he's just gonna come up and he's just gonna give it a little tap here in a few seconds. That is a nice looking fish to our left there. All right, that's fine by me, I wanna get that fish to our left. That is the big one out of this group here. Let me put it a little farther out. Yeah, some nicer fish over there as well. Yeah, let's see if they'll wanna come through here. Here we go, here we go. He's on it, he's on it. I like to jig him up a little bit, get him riled up, start jigging it, move my bait a lot. And then as soon as they come close like this, I dead stick. I let my bait do all the work. I let my bait start moving. So I'm not doing any work, you know. I, I bring him up by myself and then once I get him up, I, I start jigging him. And usually, you know, that dead stick gives that, uh, that bait a free, free move in action. Usually after I'm done dead sticking it, I leave it for a second. and it gives that bait ability to move by itself, which gets them a lot more active. Okay, big school of fish. I'm not getting much to eat here. I'm wondering if I want to get away from these bigger schools and try to target those solo fish. Because usually those solo fish are super aggressive and they're usually bigger. I'm not finding it too many bigger, like really big fish schooling together. So maybe I just want to look for those solo fish here. Yeah, that's actually what we're going to do. I'm going to throw it in forward view. We're going to try to find some solo crappie that are willing to eat here. Because sometimes these bigger, bigger schools of crappie, they're not too keen to get out of their comfort zone and eat because they're with a group. But if you can get those solos to run through, they just don't care. That's what you got to look for. Those are some bigger marks there. We're going to go hit those guys. We're going to go about... 40 feet more this direction and set right up on top over there Let's See if we can get some bigger fish here I'm 
gonna throw on a little bit bigger of a fat head here. See if I can kind of wean out some of those smaller guys. Let's drop down onto these guys. I mean, there's so many fish right here. It's, it's unbelievable. These are some aggressive fish and I like it. I mean, I'm using a pretty big bait. I got a big fat head on here, but look at him come up right now. I mean, look at this guy. He's gonna smack it. There he is. Gosh, that was an aggressive fish. Came up super, super quick there. Not even a big one. You know what? I'm not even mad that I'm not getting these monsters. These fish are so fun. I mean, they're aggressive. They're hitting it hard. There's not much more I can ask for there. We're getting them to bite. We're getting them to come up. And it is awesome. They may not be monsters, but if they're aggressive, they are aggressive. I might set up the tent here. It seems like there's a lot of aggressive fish here. And you never know. Some bigger ones could definitely come through. It's getting a little cold out here, too. It's about 14 degrees. So I might set that tent up. I mean, we're on a big school of fish. They seem aggressive. Nothing wrong with setting the tent up and just kind of sitting back, catching the fish that way. Here's the fish, guys. She's got a little something on her right there. See that there? Look at that. Wow. All right, she's going back in the water. I'm gonna set the tent up right now. We can uh, kind of chill on them for a little bit. They seem all super aggressive. Maybe catch a few fish, warm up a little bit, and get back out there. All righty. Let's drop down here. Man, there's just so many fish on the bottom. It's insane. I'm just wanting that, that big one on here. Look at how aggressive these fish are. As soon as I drop it down, we're getting fish to come up. Look at all these fish right here. Here he comes. Oh, there's all three of them. They get so competitive. Watch this, he's just gonna smack it. He's right on me. Just give him a sec here and missed him. Took my bait. Bring it up a little bit. Got him. Oh man, he dropped and I got hooked on my deucer. Oh, this guy under me seems interested. I like that. He's coming up to it too, awesome. Seems like a semi-decent mark. I probably won't stay in here too long. I just wanted to warm up a little bit then we can go back out and hit the lake. Let's see if this guy grabs it. I mean, they're on it. They want it, that's for sure. All right, I'm not even going to waste my time with these guys. I want to go find some more fish outside. It was nice warming up in here, but now it's time to get back to some fish. Seems like you, uh, you catch a few at each spot, and after those few, it's they get so spooked so easily. I don't know why people just all sit next to each other. There's probably 50 tents out there all next to each other. I don't know why they just all sit next to each other. Why not just move around, find your own spot? Don't just see where everyone else is going and set up next to them. <sighs> but you know what? If they're happy, they're happy. Let's get moving. All right. They're all hugging bottom 13 feet of water. I like this. I like 13 feet of water. Let's take a look here, see if any of these guys want to eat. They're not suspended, they're just on the bottom. Let's see here. Yeah, a lot of fish. Man, this bay is just filled. Unbelievably filled with fish. Let's see it, buddy. There we go, there we go. He's coming into it. Yeah, here he comes. That's what I like to see. It's an aggressive fish, a few aggressive fish running up now. He's gonna smack it. Come on, smack it. He's coming right up to it. I'm gonna give it a little twitch. I'm just gonna let my bait swim. I might go even shallower right now. See how that is. I mean, this is 14 feet of water. This is pretty shallow. But I might go try even shallower. I mean, it's a big drop off right here to 25. So there's nothing wrong with trying even shallower. I'm gonna throw it in forward. Yeah, there's fish all through this hump right here. Sticking bottom. It looks like something pretty decent that direction. What is that, like 17 feet of water? Straight that way. I mean, that looks like a pretty decent fish. Let's go get them. All right, let's check here. 
see if any of these guys want to bite. I think these are some uh, little bit bigger fish. Ooh, something's coming up to it here. It's an aggressive fish. He is making his way up. We have a fish coming in from the right here as well. I think these are all bigger fish. Oh, they're both coming in here. I'm gonna try to raise it up higher, see if I can get them to rush. I'm gonna drop a dead stick down. Yep, let's grab my rods. I'm gonna drop a dead stick down, see if this works any better. All right, buddy, do me some good here. All right, dead stick is down. Just gonna put it like that and I'm gonna go like this. I just want a dead stick down as well. Give me a little bit higher chance of getting one of these fish. I'm gonna go drill a hole over here. Okay, back in action. Now we wait. There's a fish going up to my dead stick right now. We'll see if he wants to eat it. I just, I got a feeling these are a little bit bigger fish. They're just acting like it. At least by a little bit here, we're gonna find out. That one there in the bottom looks pretty big. All right, they don't wanna eat. Let's go, let's go move shallow here. Let's see if there's, uh, there's much in the shallows. Kinda curious. Okay, are we really in two feet of water? Wow, I, I went up really shallow. Okay, I went a little too shallow. Okay, five feet. So, is it, what is it? Okay. We're a little bit too shallow for my liking. Let's move a little bit deeper. See what we got down here for depth. Oh, those are some nicer marks down there. I like that. 12 feet of water. That one on the right looks pretty decent. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. He's coming right up to it. Let's see if he smacks it. He's coming up, he's aggressive too. It's a decent looking mark. Let's see if he wants it. Get up here. He is on me right now. Backs off. That's a good looking mark right there. It's already one o'clock. I don't know how much longer I am gonna stay out here. <sighs> Probably not too much longer. We are gonna try to catch a few more fish if we can, but man, not big schools of fish, but the fish that are here look a lot nicer than those, those other ones. Oh yeah, we got a few fish coming up to it right now. I like that. Here we go, I wanna bring it up a little farther, see if they'll chase. Yep, there we go, there we go. He's coming into it, I like that. Let's see if he eats, I'm just gonna dead stick it. Let this bait swim around, he's coming up interested. Yep, there we go, there we go, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Oh, darted right off. <sighs> Thought that guy was gonna eat. This guy's kinda of making his way in here, and we're gonna see if he wants to eat. I mean, he's making his way in. Slowly but surely, he's coming up. I think these are nicer fish. I think this might be a school of some, some little bit bigger fish here, which is nice. We just gotta get them to eat. Seven feet to my left, there's a nice fish. Let's see if I can get any of these guys to come up, otherwise, let's go drop right on top of that fish. It's a nice fish to our left. There he is, he's right under me. I mean, it's a decent mark, could be a nice fish. It's 118. We're gonna see if we can get one more fish and head out. It's been, it's been quite a while. The bite's kind of slowed down. Well, it's not exactly slowed down. I'm chasing bigger fish. I went away from the schools of hundreds of fish and sat on some solos here that look a little bit nicer. Get up here and smack. That fish on my left is nice. It is a nice fish. This one under me is too. I just, I can't move these bigger fish. These bigger marks, they just don't wanna move. And I mean, what can I really do about that? They're not gonna move, they're not gonna eat. It's gonna be hard to catch them. This guy's coming in pretty hot here. Oh, I like that, I like this, I like this. Come on, come on, smack it. Smack it, he wants it, he wants it. Fish on. There we go. 
not a Mondo, but it's actually a little guy. Not really what I was expecting. I mean, it wasn't one of those bigger marks, but we got him to eat. He was an aggressive fish, which was nice. I thought you were a little bit bigger. I thought these marks had a little bit more depth to them there. I mean, they're nicer marks than the other ones, but they're just little guys. Tonight, we never found the school of big ones. We found fish though. I mean, we found fish. If I spend enough time out here, I mean, this is my second or third time out here. If I spend enough time out here, I can find some more big fish. Like my last video, we caught some, some 13 inches, so it was good. I mean, we're catching fish. This is the guy to end on for today. Nice little one there. I mean, nice little eight incher. They're all nice fish. A lot of people would be stoked to be catching so many of these guys. I mean, good eaters. We're gonna have to end on this though. I'm gonna have to get packed up, head out of here. It's, yeah, it's about almost 1.30 now. So we, we, spent, uh, we spent a good two hours out here. Nothing wrong with that. We caught fish, we had fun, and we made a good video. Hope you guys did enjoy. As always, as you guys know, new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know down below what fish you guys want me to target next. I love doing my crappie, love doing my walleye. I'm thinking about heading up north to try to chase some burbs. If you guys got any video ideas, let me know down below. Anything at all. I mean, if you want some how-tos, some tips and tricks, you name it, down below. And I will try to make a video on that. I reply to every single one of you guys' comments. I appreciate the support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.